I've been seeing this thing, um, or maybe I'm just late seeing stuff, but you know how stuff can be where it just get rehashed about Avatar Korra versus Aang. And if you're an M. Light Shemini fan, his name is Ong, and I don't like you if you're, if you're the fan, but Aang versus Katara. Aang versus Korra. Avatar Aang versus Avatar Korra. I'm Avatar Aang all the way. We watched three years, a total of like four between the weights. Um, we've seen the build up. The only thing Aang had, the only thing Korra has over Aang is that her villains, her villains were better. Her villains, they all seem to have some type of moral standing. Um, they were like Batman villains in a way. Like, you kind of rooted for the villain. You really wanted to see the story of the villain. You wanted to know more about the villain, Korra's villains. So, in that respect, she hands down because, hold up. <sighs> Sorry. Aang was always hunted, but he's always hunted, usually hunted by one person. <laughs> Korra seemed like had a lot of different people. Her friends even turned like, Korra had different people. Seemed like they threw a lot at us to keep people interested because they know how big Aang was. They know how irreplaceable Aang is, was. So it was like, yo, let's do this, let's do this. And it worked, like Korra's not bad, I think um, a lot of parts of her seasons, like over the course of her years, um, I don't think it ages well as good as Aang is because, um, and you have some people who will say, don't compare the two, you can't compare the two. Oh, you sexist. If you, if you fall in either one or both of these categories, please shut the hell up because life is about comparisons, All right. Now, disagree, agree, if you want, I'm telling you right now, in my humble opinion, I've seen something, I see something else, you compare the two. Life is about comparisons, all right? It, ain't got, it don't have nothing to do with being hating, hating on, being mean, being negative. Like, it's just your opinion, how you see things, if you need to purchase something. Life is all about comparisons, period. But, like, for future references, like, life is all about comparisons. And this is no different. So, Aang, we got to see him the rise. We see him fail. And I think Korra's failures was just so over the top for me. Like, she was so sad. She was so low. Like, I don't need anybody. I don't need this. Don't help me. You're only helping me because I'm a girl. I can't do this because I'm a girl. Chick, you're the avatar. I don't want to hear no I'm a girl excuse. You're the avatar. You're supposed to be the strongest. I don't understand. And then sometimes she was so overpowered, it was ridiculous. <laughs> but Aang, we didn't feel that. Aang felt like a kid trying to make it in the world, literally. <laughs> he, it felt like he was 10 to 12 years old, trying his best, being the only airbender, doing his best with him, Sokka, and Katara. Just doing the best as he tried to master the elements for this future fight against the Fire King that was going to come. And he did. It was epic versus Korra, who after like 10 episodes, she fought her villain. Aang, we got to wait years and years to build up, the build up, the side henchman, the strong side henchman, and the build up and build up, and then boom, the payoff for everybody, the payoff. And we got to see every character like have their moment to shine. They learn something. Sokka became a swordsman. Um, Katara like learned blood bending and like the fact that there's water everywhere. She learned more deeper into the powers laid the foundation for Korra's timeline. And I think a lot of people just so stuck on Korra and wanting to root for her that you forget about the past. And the thing that laid the foundation, because obviously without saying there would be no core without Aang. Not even dealing with the whole Avatar state aspect of it. But if that didn't do well, there would be no core. Obviously, duh. But because this was so good, like, what am I trying to say? Like, 
Aang was the best. Like, it's just, he was just so much more relatable versus Korra, who was, like, charged into situations, got her ass whooped, came back one. Like, she did that rep repeatedly. Came back one, guess what, came back one. Aang was, like, hurt. I don't know. It's just, I, I own both, sh both seasons, both shows, seasons, whatever you call it. I just pick Aang personally. Like, it was cool in course time. Like, there was a sport, bending sport. Um, there were different variations of the main bending. Like, there was metal bending. There was lava bending. There was flight. And the thing is, if we got to see some more, like, details of Aang, um, Zaheer flying, he said it was a monk who 100 years ago was flying. He untethered himself. That's Aang's time. <laughs> like Aang is like 112 years old <laughs> technically so it's like that's Aang's time so if Aang would have stayed he could have possibly learned how to fly he already created the scooter air scooter who's to say he wouldn't have been able to fly if he like thought about it you know thought that was a possibility but he didn't have a connection to his people at least he, he thought he didn't because Zaheer did <laughs> so um I don't know. I just see a lot of stuff now about Korra versus Aang, and it seems like everyone wants Aang to win. Like, everyone wants Korra to win so bad, and it's like, how? Like, you're ignoring, like, the blame in your face facts that Korra kind of sucked at being an avatar. When she was, like, a little bitty lass, she seemed like she was all about being an avatar. Then she grew up, she took it for, she took it for granted being strong, and then she got her butt whooped, and it's like she could not come back. And then they I'm sorry. They kind of forced the whole um, Korra and and Zumi. Sumi. What's her name? I can't think of her name. Um, the one she like left into the spirit world with. Like they kind of forced that relationship, and it's like I have the root for Aang. Like it was just focus. It was real written. Like the fight scenes were incredible. Now Korra obviously had good fight scenes, but in the same sense. It's just, I'm trying to not have, like, my bias goggles on, because obviously it was the first time we've seen this, like, in the cartoon, and it's on Nickelodeon. Like, can you imagine if either the Avatar show was on Netflix, was on FX? Like, man, that's crazy. But all this is through my opinion. In my opinion, Aang beats Korra. Aang now, I've seen some too. It was like, did he really master all the elements? I don't know. But Aang, Aang is better to me than Korra. He was younger. Imagine him as an adult. Like, I would love, but like, they were in peace times. And I think that kind of hindered Korra as well. Um, and I'm sure, like, that kind of took away from Aang's um, open mindedness too. Like, I need to do this and this to try to win. You do this and this to try to win. Versus peacetime is like, meh. I can air scooter. <laughs> if I need to, I can ping, summon avatar stage. It's not a big deal. Whatever. It's peace. We're peace. We're peace. <laughs> but I would love to see another show. I think I said this in the previous video before. Like I would love to see a show where like they're, teen they're teenagers to adult up until when Aang died. I need to see how Sokka died. Like, Appa. Like, it's just so much, so much. And I feel like Boomy's death, did he die during the show run? I don't remember. But King Boomy, his death was probably epic. Like, uh, by the way, my opinion, I'm Ting, Ting, Ting. I'm Team Aang all the way. <laughs>